Welcome back, everyone. Tracy Marceron is back in our morning show studios this morning. You've got a fun summer project for us. Yes. Well, this is beach going weather. Yes, so, well, well not, not the next couple but, of days. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but people, beach. <laughs> people have started going to the beach now mm -hmm. that the weather's turned warm. And this is a great project because I'm a, I'm a hunter and gatherer, so I always like to collect things wherever I am. So I gather um, the shells and sometimes interesting pieces of driftwood and mm -hmm. sea glass. Um, but this is a project that you can put all of that to use rather than just putting it in a tin box and Forgetting putting it aside it, somewhere. Yes. Um, all three of these are candle holders. Uh, I've taught the mason jar one before, mm -hmm. but I found these two glass containers just lately and I thought, I want to do a new twist on the mason jar candle. Um, the mason jar candle, uh, you just take the lid off and then you tuck that lid into the wire bale that's, that is usually attached to the old mason jars. And then you just fill that with whatever assortment of goodies you want to. Mm -hmm. And um, you can put, mix in a little sand um, while you're doing that so that you can see some shells through. And you can, you can pick up sand at the beach that you're um, visiting, or you can buy some whiter sand. Mm -hmm. uh, main sand is usually this brown. Um, then you can, if you can't find any sea glass, you can also pick up a bag of sea glass nowadays. Isn't that a lot funny? of people are tumbling <laughs> it. Yeah. Um, but I like to use the stuff Me that too. I find. Me and too. then have a little stick on hand so that as you add these pieces, you can twist them and turn them how you want. Um, on this jar, I added a little piece of old fish net. Love that. Um, mm -hmm. You can add a piece of driftwood going up sideways and then build layers on top of that. Mm -hmm. But when Seaweed. you get all done, actually they look great, just filled right to the top with shells. Mm -hmm. And then just drop that little um, candle holder in, find a sand colored candle and add that to it. Um, if you want a little touch of color, then you can add a little piece of the homespun cloth tied to the handle. Pretty. On these other two that are more terrarium type, I um, started out by putting quite a bit more sand in the bottom okay, and then adding, and this one I tilted the container on a side so that you could have that layered, the um, high and low effect. Mm, so you can see it better. You can see it better, right, especially yeah. if you've got it up on a shelf. Mm -hmm. And then just add your goodies. Um, I threw in a little bit of the reindeer moss so that it adds more color. It kind of looks like seaweed. Yeah. And then choose a candle, again, that coordinates with your things that you've put into the container. Just make sure with any candle project that you're always keeping the wick trimmed short before you light it and don't leave that unattended. But what a great project to put in the center of um, a, a beach themed wedding. Oh, um, you know, you could have yeah. those for your those centerpieces. Can get big box too if you oh, order yes. them, you know? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But there's so oh, much more that. fun to make yourself and have get all your um, guests involved, you know, the bridesmaids and, and bridal party involved in helping you make those if that's what your wedding theme is. Love that. Excellent. And what's going on at the Next Generation Theater? Oh, well, today we start our summer camp session. Oh, so the kids okay. are going to be working on Susical the Musical and Fame, Bye. Fame Junior. So Excellent. be sure to come see those shows in a couple of weeks. All right. Excellent, Tracy. Always nice to see you. We'll be right Thanks, back. Thanks, Joy.